What's up guys, welcome back to Crawl TV. Today we're gonna to show you how to get rid of your old saggy sacks. That's right, you heard me correctly, the old saggy sacks on our doors. It's the factory netting that came with the Jeep but after getting hot and cold and getting washed and drying out and sitting in the sun, they've become extremely saggy to the point that if you put anything in them, you can't close the door. So it's super frustrating. And we found a fix for this online through these guys called Slick Rock Gear. They make JK door pockets and all four door pockets can fit in a box about this size apparently. So luckily the only tool that you need to install these new door pockets to get rid of those saggy sacks is the same tool you need to open the box. So the guys from Slick Rock Gear are out of Redondo Beach, California, as you can see right there. And they sent this out to us. It only took two days to get here, which is awesome. But then it took us about a week to get to making this video. So it's been sitting on our table. Um, Sorry, we've been actually wheeling on the weekends. <laughs> yeah, we've actually been out doing Jeep stuff. So um, the myth about people not doing anything in Florida is apparently a lie. Well, we went to Georgia this last year. Yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> um, but yeah, so these are not available on Amazon. You have to go to Slick Rock Gear's website and we have that down in the description if you wanna see it, check it out, get a pair for yourselves. These things, uh, from what I've seen online, are pretty awesome. Let's tear into this box, take a look at the actual product though. I actually didn't need the scissors for this either. But you will need them later. You will need the scissors later. Okay, so first thing on the list, you have important must read instructions and website with installation instructions if you need to follow that. But if you watch this video, hopefully you can figure it out on your own. So we got that. And then we got a center console pocket. We're actually not gonna be able to use this one because that's where we keep our rugged radios. But we've got the four door pockets and these came in flat black when they first came out with these they were all carbon fiber now they have a flat black which is actually the same texture i don't know if you can see that but it's the same texture as the door panel so these are actually going to look like they were um you know they're from the factory which is going to be really nice but there are back doors and then there are front doors the back doors have just a smooth bottom on them the front doors have little tabs so you can tell them apart so this is one side and this is one side. Let's get to putting these things in the Jeep. There we go. Okay. You filming? Yep. Okay. Always. So I unhooked the door just to open it wider to show you guys, but that's really not necessary for the installation. I just wanted to show you how saggy this old sack is. If I put something in it, like this little battery pack, for example, drop that in there. And you see how low it hangs. If I try and close the door again, it will get stuck in the door. That happens with everything. And the worst experience that we had was on the passenger side. Grace had an it's unopened awful. can of Red Bull in the net and she closed the door and it literally blew it up inside the Jeep, <laughs> outside the Jeep. It was um, awful. Nightmare. Because that's when we got the Jeep, these things were still like brand new and they could hold like a heavy soda or even two of them. Now they can't hold even more than like a sack of tissues without getting stuck in the door and then- Even if you put cards or we'll carry stickers at events and putting the stickers in there is enough to weigh it down and keep you from closing the door. Yeah, so. Here's a pack of Crawl TV stickers available on 7slotsociety.com if you want one. Uh, and if we keep our stickers in the bag, same situation that we run into, the stickers are gonna get slammed in that door right there, so. Let's, let's not bend them all before we sell them. That's a good point, <laughs> yeah. So, let's get to installing the new JK Pocket. So the installation on this is actually really, really easy. You want to cut as closely as you can because what you're going to do is actually cut the whole net right out of the door. But you don't want anything hanging over the edges. So we'll start with this top piece here and we'll just get it as close as possible to that edge. And then the rest, since it is elastic, it should suck it right back in there. Yep, and then we'll just cut the net away.
or you can pull it, I guess. It's probably only tethered at certain points. Yeah. Okay, now there's a small amount of excess. We'll just get that ripped out of there. Anything that's hanging out. Okay. And we're ready for stage two, which is install the door pocket. So this has no nuts, bolts, or screws required. It doesn't glue in, it snaps in. Um, they made it pretty ingeniously to work with, you know, very little effort. Um, I would say that the one thing you have to be mindful of though is that there's no turning back once you do this. You can't put that net back in because we cut it out. So <laughs> once you decide to go the route of the JK Pockets, that's the route you're gonna have. In our case, you saw the net, there, there was no point to having it anyways. So this is only an upgrade for us, but you know, we've also cut the frame horns off of our Jeep. We've done a lot of things with no turning back. We cut the front fender to put a snorkel in. Yeah, you get the point. So to install this, it's easier to go on the flat side first and then kind of bend it around to get the front side here. I guess this is the back side of the door, but you see what I'm saying here. So we're gonna start on the flat side. We're gonna push this tab in just like that. We'll get it to snap in along the bottom. Last piece. All right, just like that. No more saggy sack. Now we have a nice little cubby. We can put our big heavy battery in there. We can put our stickers in there. And we can put whatever else we want to put in there. So it's actually a useful compartment in our door again and nothing gets slammed in the door. Now we just got three doors left and we'll finish this thing up. So the back door is pretty much the same, but since it is a little bit different, we'll show you how it works here. Uh, we're still gonna cut everything out, so we'll start with that. Snip, snip, snip. Here's your winning prize. Hey, thanks. We've got a couple of stragglers here. There we go. There we go. Get all the netting out of there. And just like the front door, we're gonna start with the flat side instead of the angled side, and then we'll just kind of bend it to fit it in. So we'll get this tab in there first, just like that. And then kind of work it in there. What's my time? Uh, minute 40. Oh, okay, awesome. So minute 40 seconds per door on average. I mean, don't try and compete with me, I'm pretty much the best. Now we can stick our rev kit cards in this door. And it closes. Two more to go. I think the weather's turning on us. We're about to get dumped on. 
All right, guys, so that's it. The JK door pockets are in the Jeep. You saw how easy that was to install. It makes a world of difference getting rid of those old saggy nets that came with the doors. Those things seriously sucked. <laughs> Um, excited to have these in there. The black perfectly matches our door panels. These things look like they should have been there from the factory. Slickrockgear.com is the name of the website where you can go pick these up. Like I said, that's already in the description. This is the only piece we didn't use. This goes on the center column right in front of the shifter, but we've got our rugged radio system there. So we'll find one lucky giver, <laughs> one lucky winner to give this away to in one of our next videos. And that about wraps it up. So thank you guys for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down in the comment area and subscribe to the channel. Hit that little bell for notifications. Follow us on our other social media like Facebook, 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 Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, you name it. And uh, check out our rev kit, revkit.com slash crawl TV. We'll see you all in the next episode right here, airing weekly on crawl TV. Peace. All right, so it, we had plenty of time to film this video in the daylight, but the weather moved in and it got dark really, really fast. So I just pulled into a gas station. I wanted to show you guys kind of a more up close of the finished product of this JK door pocket. You can see the texture matches absolutely perfectly. Um, this is a little bit darker just because my doors are a little bit faded, so I need to do something to clean those up. But this thing got rid of that saggy sack. I've got my stickers in it. Everything fits perfectly. It's not big enough to hold a cup, which is probably the only complaint that I could possibly think of on these, but the pockets themselves are absolutely perfect. These things are awesome. I think I am gonna find a way to work that center console pocket into the Jeep, so stay tuned and I'll maybe make a follow-up video on that one. But this is the final installation. I'll show you the back door as well. They look awesome. Oh, you like my shirt? This came from our friend Brett Buffington over at Chattown Jeepers. We met him out at the Unlimited Off-Road Expo show in Cumming, Georgia last weekend. It's my first time wearing it, but I really like it. Yeah, they have a Facebook page, so... Yeah, go check them out. Chattown Jeepers. I also got a hat from them, but I'm not wearing it right now, so...